Good morning everybody. I gave myself the luxury of an 8am sleep in this morning because I was so tired. I'm here at the Park in Alexanderplatz in Berlin and I still can't get over the view from my room. Have a look at this. Absolutely stunning. What a sight to wake up to. And there's the Berlin Tower as well, the TV Tower. Well, my rate here at the uh, Park Inn includes breakfast. One thing I don't like about these sort of rates that include breakfast is the fact that I always seem to end up going at rush hour, which is 8.30 now, and it's usually bedlam. It's a feeding frenzy down there. So we'll see whether it's more civilised here or not. Here we go. Feeding frenzy didn't happen. Uh, very civilized down there, soft music, nice and airy and bright, loads of space, and the food was fantastic. Um, there was a bit of interest on the way down though. Me and another guy were waiting for the, the elevator, and we waited, and we waited, and we waited, and nothing happened. Then eventually one of the cleaners came to tell us the elevator was kaput. So we ended up going down to the, the ground floor in the service lift, which was pretty exciting. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic breakfast. Anyway, I reluctantly have to check out now. I'm going to absorb some more of this view firstly, then I'm going to check out. I've got a few things to do and I'll see you downstairs. Checking out of the hotel was organised chaos. Uh, the elevators still aren't working as far as the 35th floor. The only way you can um, get out of the 35th floor is either to walk down 35 flights of stairs, which I didn't actually fancy, or push the up button and then it will come up and then you can go down. Unfortunately everyone else had the same idea and the, uh, the elevator stopped at floor 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, you get the message. By the time I got to the reception desk, there was uh, a bit of confusion at the, um, the checkout because the person before me had actually lost someone in the lift system somewhere. They'd managed to get out, tried to find the, uh, the stairs, couldn't do so, and so the whole party had been 
split up somewhere in the building and there's a lot of uh, worried senior executives from the hotel wandering around trying to find people. Anyway, we're out. I've got a mission. Thirty-five floors is a long way to go if you have to use stairs. Okay, I've done my first thing of the day, and that was to get a replacement cable for my camcorder charger. Um, the one I've got at the moment has got a UK plug on it, and when you use an adapter, it actually slows down the charging time quite a lot. I've noticed that with my phone as well. So you go to places like Saturn, and they sell everything in there. I love that shop. So, on to... Um, on to Brandenburg Gate. Yes, why not? Brandenburg Gate. I love the way they've kept part of the original facade here as well at Alexanderplatz Station. Every time I visit Berlin, I have to visit the Brandenburg Gate. I never get tired of Berlin and I never get tired of seeing the Brandenburg Gate but unfortunately I've got a flight to catch in about four hours so I have to keep that in mind. Bye Berlin, until next time. The ugliest building in Berlin Award should go to the British Embassy.
unfortunately we're down to the business end of things now. I need to get my bag, get the train to Schoenefeld Airport and I have a flight to catch. Hopefully. Okay, I'm heading back to Alexanderplatz station, but in the meantime, a quick recap of the parking by Radisson. Right, breakfasts, definite thumbs up, one of the better ones I've ever had. Um, relaxed, bright, airy area, and no frenzied feeding free for all. Uh, the shower, brilliant, couldn't find a fault with that. Location, I could see the station from my window, but also from the 35th floor, you can see half of Berlin. So, four out of four. Brilliant hotel, and out of the three that I stayed in, I uh, guess a thumbs up. Schoenfeld Airport terminal is just over there. Today in Berlin, I was only asked by one person for directions. That's below average for me. I'm so tempted to have my last curry bread first, but maybe not. See, I've got uh, I've got three hours to kill here at Schoenfeld Airport. Three hours, so I'm sure I can find something to eat inside the airport terminal. Sit down, have a drink, maybe a beer. Hmm, now there's an idea. Take a good look at Schoenfeld Airport, because one day that's going to get demolished when the new Brandenburg Airport opens, if and when it opens. But this one's for the scrap heap. You might be wondering why I gave myself three hours at Schoenfeld Airport. Security is really slow here, but a very thorough. Well, that was as close as I could get to a chicken schnitzel. Cheers. Oh, yes, I've deserved that. I've forgotten how much I hated Schoenfeld Airport. Security is really, really tight and really slow. You cannot cut your. Never mind.
I was trying an experiment with EasyJet. I thought I would get the furthest forward aisle seat just so I could make a sharp exit. I managed to get row 15, uh, 15C. Unfortunately, they opened both front and the back doors, which means I was stuck right in the middle and one of the last to get out. In all fairness though, it only took about seven minutes to get through passport control, which is actually a record for Glasgow. Uh, my best so far has been, I think, 30 minutes. But then on that night, there was just one person looking after an entire aircraft load of arrivals. So well, that just about wraps up today and this epic four day Berlin video. Please subscribe. If you don't, I'll just keep making these. And if you do subscribe, I'll keep making them anyway. So hope you enjoyed this. Click the like button and I'll see you next time.